finished writing that statement? Just finished. Well, what time do you think I'll be able to take him home? Uh, we need to have a conversation about that, Mr. Woodside. I'll uh, get the ball rolling with Central Booking. The fact is, you're not going to be taking Anthony home today. He's being arrested and taken to Central Booking. What do you mean, arrested? How much food did he take? If that man wants me to make it up to him, I'm happy to do it. Mr. Woodside, the man your son robbed died as a result of his injuries. The man died? So your son's being charged with a robbery homicide. You made me think he was coming home. It's not the case. You had to know his injuries were bad. You may want to get your son an attorney now. He would have had one two hours ago if it hadn't been for you. You know, I can understand that white cop lying to us, but you're a black man. We're black folks. I know that, Mr. Woodside. Our ADA will be by to talk to you and Anthony. Boy, didn't anyone ever teach you any pride? Is that what you were teaching your son with that Korean grocer? I just said, don't patronize the man. And you called him a chinky-eyed thief. You don't think that played in? I was teaching my son to be a proud black man. And you ended up teaching him to think about those folks the way white trash thinks about us, like we're animals. And now a family's lost a husband and father. Now, maybe what happened isn't all on you, Mr. Woodside, but I know for sure none of it's on me. 